Sir, do you understand the significance of OpenGov? As Alice and Bob rightly put it this morning, Gov2 makes Polkadot the first ecosystem to actually make steps toward becoming a decentralized autonomous organization. A DAO, not just in name, but in practice. And while the mission of some other ecosystems is to build just enough mid-tier pseudo-decentralized bullshit to convince speculators to become their fools, freaking illegal, the mission of our DAO is to build an open and decentralized piece of software capable of replacing the information network we currently call the internet. Deploying logic applications or services on this platform needs to be just as easy as deploying a website, with all the tooling, infrastructure, and accessibility without sacrificing speed, security, and most vitally, decentralization. I think we've had enough with centralized authorities limiting our access to the truth, to each other, and to basic human rights. Now, despite a lot of hard work by a lot of great people, the gap between the goals of our DAO and where we are now is massive. We need a huge workforce of developers, designers, Designers, cryptographers, storytellers, leaders, and more to come on board. The ongoing work by Parity and Web3 to grow these forces has been and will continue to be essential, but our chief architect gave us the three ingredients to build and maintain a decentralized workforce. OpenGov allows anyone who holds KSM and soon to be DOT to organize around a mission. The Kusama Network is the laboratory in which we can allow bold and talented people to experiment, build, and prove the worth of their creation creations to those token holders, and the treasuries are the incentives that attract that talent. All along, we couldn't use these funds for marketing, not only because that's it, illegal, but because it's unethical and counterproductive to our mission. We can now, however, promote the treasury as a reward for building out the network and increasing its utility. It's just a brilliant bonus of the tokenomics that the value of that reward increases with the utility of the network, and that utility increases with useful features built into the software. Luckily, we have an insane amount of firepower in these treasuries. Even at these tanked market prices, we're still stacking three to four million dollars worth of assets every week after spending and burning. Combined, the treasuries are worth a quarter billion dollars. If DOT and KSM were at all-time highs, it would be worth 2.5 billion. We need to work together to put these funds to productive use at a pace appropriate to the very early stages of our mission. This means making sure open governance is actually open. Right now, for instance, a proposal requires 100 KSM deposit with a six to eight week process for even small spend proposals. We need to thank those who served as council members past and present. In incorporate their wisdom without carrying along any bias. And because we're in this hyper-growth phase, we need to ensure that the conservative-minded among us are productively helping us to track results and account for funds already spent, and turning down the voices of anybody adding friction or gatekeeping. If you see someone committing any of these BitBoy levels of contribution, make sure you say something. These are just my impressions so far. I'm heading to Sub-Zero in Lisbon tonight to see how the Kusumarian and our audience can contribute to the mission of developing Web3. But I got a pack and we have a whole show ahead of us. Penin, what's going on with those NFTs? It's a little quiet this week. Too quiet. Or maybe I'm just used to drinking from a fire hose. Big Country is collaborating with MetaDojo and MaoDAO. Darwinia distributes PLO NFT rewards. Mangata sends out NFTs to crowdfund participants with possible future utility. Exiled Racers drop some details to their race training. It'll only run 24 hours for those with a pass. Racers are training to win and lose? There's a prediction market and you might get a special garage. Carnage's last patch states that stone, wood, and gold is farmed and beta resource have been added. Resource summoning and trading on Exosama network has begun. And check your pumpkins. Everloot recaps 9 months of development and drops a major 6.2.1 update with market trading logs New fish, new skills, more experience levels, mechanisms for an auto battler that will be part of expeditions and even, oh my god, PvP? And did you see this epic market lottery prize? Cosmice plans special collaborative avatars. Check out this view of Sky City. Auctions for Yoshitaka Amano's Candy Girl collection have begun on Tofu NFT for some serious monies. Fungus Among Us does a giveaway. Wag Media partners with Subsocial Spacers in a giveaway. Engine updates their wallet. And hey, did you sign up for the NFT.io waitlist? This boat ride looks fun. Too bad I'm not in Budapest. Sky Raven holders will be in a snapshot for an airdrop. And on to you, C Saint.
As we navigate the auctions on the sister chains, Omni BTC continues to chug along behind the newest self-funded bid, Frequency. We've dived deep on this one a few times here on the channel, so be sure to catch the interviews with Braxton and Denise, and of course our deep dive all linked below. Don't forget the new kid on the block, Hash Network, which focuses on DAO tooling and native Bitcoin vaults. The Sista chain is quiet as Parachain 2236 appears to be the only chain running on Kusama with about a thousand KSM on the books at the time of writing. Maybe Robonomics is waiting for the next bid. On to other news as Nova appears to be working on an enterprise grade wallet called Omni with a demo coming out today. Invarch's IP staking is coming very soon and Ferrum is coming to Polkadot and Kusama bringing their OG DeFi platform to Polkadot. We sat down with Ferrum Network at Decoded and learned more about their vision for cross-chain DeFi. Be sure to check it out. One of the biggest players in the domain space, Unstoppable Domains, makes its way to Moonbeam, where Dot and Glimmer can be used for domain name payments. Picasso is soon to launch, and you can hear more about the vision from Brainjar's most recent mega thread, their launch Twitter space, and just maybe on Summer Nights. Speaking of Summer Nights, this week we had Dot Insights on, the newest data crunching initiative from SubWallet. Energy Web reminds us of their compliance first and conservative approach. Darwinia looks forward to a cross chain future, and Equilibrium's closed beta is now complete with full launch planned for early November. Accurus is an Oracle-focused parachain hopeful who already released the Oracle palette to be used in Polkadot and Kusama, with previous integrations already secured through Tezos, Cosmos, and more. Polkadot is already looking to defeat quantum computing. Swag. By Frost and Moonbeam recently opened up HRMP channels and liquid staking derivatives V Glimmer and V Mover are already here. The Polkadot's Collective's pair chain finalized its first blocks, Peak delivers on Substrate Builders Program Milestone 2 while they announce a huge partnership with Ocean Protocol. And sweet news is Akala and Nodal's tokens on your ledger can now be managed through Talisman. Track is getting fully distributed by Origin Trail, Robonomics is sending beeps and boops to Moon River, and Crust is boasting impressive adoption numbers. Fala is getting big time props from Intel. Wowza. This comes on the tails of the happening of block rewards to Fala miners. Quite a week, eh? On to you, Jay. Thanks, guys. And I know, like, most of you don't care, but we are making content on TikTok now. Link is down in the description below. And this week, we're going to play you out with a track by Xylodrone, who appears to be putting together a pretty ripping party for the closing night of Sub-Zero. If you're there this week, make sure you say hi. If you're not, don't worry. We're going to have tons of great content from everything we see and everybody we meet. Have a great weekend, everybody. <clears throat>